Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at how we can fix the error Windows cannot be installed to this disk, the selected disk as MBR partition table. So, as you're installed in your operating system, you click next, and then what happens is you start to click install, and then you get this error message popping up. Now, what that means is uh, it means you can't install. Uh, to this disk because it needs to be converted to GBT okay now at some point you've had MBR partition table on that hard drive and the best way to go around it really is either wipe the drive completely and delete every single partition on there if you do that and then try to install it again what's going to happen is it will lay to install onto that drive okay now you need to remove all the partition tables, all the MBR partitions and everything, all gone, okay? And then that way you should get around it. Now if you don't want to do that and you want to continue the installation process, you're going to need to convert from MBR to GPT whilst installing um, your operating system. And I'm going to show you how you can quickly do that also. So what we're going to do is restart the system and start the installation process and I'll show you what you can do once you get this error message on your screen. So once you get to this stage you want to click next and then you want to click on install. Just let that get to this stage here and once you get to this stage what you want to do here now is you want to make sure that you're pushing the shift key and F10. So the left shift key and F10 on the keyboard and this will open up your command prompt window. Now once you've got this open all you want to do next is you want to type in there disk part just like so and this will open up disk part once you've got that open you want to put in there list disk okay so you just put a list disk like that and this will list the disk on that uh, on there now you may have more partitions than me you may have three or four different partitions okay this is if you've not formatted the, all the partitions and you want to carry on okay uh, but if you see the disk partition zero there that's the disk that I want to put uh, my windows on okay now you select which disk it is so what you need to do here is you need to type in there select disk zero now yours will be whatever disk you want to use push that and it should say now uh, selected disk and then once you get that stage done you want to type in here clean okay now this could take a bit of time uh, depending on the size of the drive but give that a chance to uh, complete its job now once you've done that what we want to do is convert to GPT okay so you now you need to put convert uh, GPT like so now once that's done you should see successfully converted to GPT format now once you've done that you should be pretty much good to go so then you can exit out of this and then close that off and then put in your um, license key here you need to put in your license key to continue once you've done that you should be able to continue the installation and then once you get to this stage you should be able to look at your drive and you'll see unallocated space now what you can do here is uh, create your partition if you want or just click next and it will create it for you but if you've got a large drive you may want to uh, set out a couple of different partitions here now at this stage this is where you're going to get the error message and that you can delete and format all those partitions that's what you need to do if you want to delete them okay um, but as you can see here we're fine so we're just going to go next here and install our Windows 8 and you should be good to go pretty much from then on okay so I hope this one helps you out guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then hit the like button guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Now, if you've got any problems with your computers and you need some help, then head over to my forums and uh, we'll try and sort you out over there, okay? So thanks again. Bye for now.